had an early inkling that I would want to be a judge one day when I was younger, but I think back then it was more about, um, I associated being a judge with being able to fight bullies as a child. Um, I think that's still true, obviously, today, but it's so much more different than what I originally thought it was. Um, so I always wanted to be a judge, but I actually ended up at college for going in, I wanted to go into vet school because I have a huge passion for animals. Um, I realized quickly that chemistry and those sciences were not my friends. So uh, I ended up having to switch majors because I didn't think vet school was going to be an option and I ended up going into to criminology. Um, I went to law school out of state and when I graduated and came back to Atlanta, it was right after the recession, it was about 2010. The job market was not so friendly, so I ended up starting out in creditors' rights and civil litigation. I didn't know that I was going to stay there for quite some, so long, but I did end up staying in, in that practice for 10 years. And what was unique about that practice area is that I actually practiced predominantly in magistrate court. I was in state and superior court as well, but my, the majority of my practice was in magistrate court. So when the opportunity to become a part-time magistrate in Cobb County um, presented itself, I went ahead and, and took the leap. And actually, I owe it to Joyette Holmes, who was the chief magistrate at the time. She's actually the one that took a chance on me, and I will be forever grateful to her for that. Being a judge is not roses and sunshines. Um, there are a lot of really hard days just because of what we're seeing on a daily basis. But the thing that I enjoy the most, especially that relates to magistrate court in general, is that it's the people's court. So I'm dealing with regular civilians all day, every day, and a lot of them are not represented by counsel. A lot of my time is spent doing educational discussions with some of these litigants to help them understand the legal process as much as I can, because there is a line there. But I enjoy that because some of these litigants are never going to see any other courtroom or see any other level of court. So some of them were the only interaction they're going to have with the court system. And I enjoy being a part or being able to be a part of hopefully what will be a positive interaction with the court system and not a negative interaction. That doesn't mean they're going to win their case, but at least they're going to be respected when they come in. I'm going to explain to them if they don't win their case, why they don't win their case pursuant to Georgia law. And I think that there's a lot of positive work that can be done between the community and the justice system simply in the courtroom because those people are in here and we're dealing with them and educating them on how that process works. That's really probably my favorite thing because I have a lot of people that end up leaving court. They didn't win, but they felt that they were heard and I really enjoy that part of it. I have two goals. One is significantly bigger than the other. My first larger goal kind of stems from what I said before, which is that I practiced in magistrate court for so long. So I was able to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of magistrate court. And my practice also allowed me, I, I was all over the state. So I've been in almost every county in magistrate court. Um, with that, I think a big area of improvement for us is consistency across the state. Um, we work really hard within our own council with communicating with our bench entirely. We have over 500 judges. We're definitely, by, I think, the biggest. Um, so just making the information and the knowledge about the difficulties that Magistrate Court faces more um, broader reaching to the, to the judges that we don't see on, on the regular basis. Like I'm in Metro Atlanta, so I see a lot of the Metro judges a lot more often than the, the more rural judges. But I really want to focus on consistency across the bench so that litigants who are in North Georgia are getting the exact same service and outcomes as litigants in South Georgia or litigants in Metro Atlanta. Um, obviously, each county has different issues, and they may have different areas that they have a, a greater volume of cases in, but they should still be getting the same experience across the state. And my practice allowed me to see that that's not the case all the time. So I am my biggest goal is consistency across the state amongst our bench um, and just making sure these judges have as much information as, as possible to handle cases the right way and to follow Georgia law. My secondary goal is actually to continue to build and strengthen the relationships between the levels of court who are on judicial council together. Um, I just had a really good conversation recently with the president of the Superior Court bench, and um, I know that there's work to be done between the le levels of court so that we all understand the issues that we all face, because those are really good sounding boards for those issues to help fix some of the problems or bring more ideas to the table with how we can uh, make the judicial system better as a whole. I am an animal lover, so I have two precious rescue dogs. Um, their names are Suki and Cagney, 
and uh, my husband and I really enjoy hiking. So when I have time on the weekends when I'm not up here in the Warren office, I, um, I really enjoy hiking with the girls and sometimes we even go up to the mountains just to kind of drive through the mountains and take them on um, outdoor hikes. They both have anxiety issues because they're rescues, so we're just constantly working on that. But time spent with my animals, my husband, and outside is what I like to do when I'm not on the bench. Thank you.